Hello folks, it's time for another Goosebumps video. It's been a while. So anyways, besides the little stuff that was going on, we're just going to talk about the, what's at hand. So you guys, again, just like what happened in the, in the Mad TV sketch where it was a guy who's like mustard gas. You guys are ahead of me on this one. Chances are you already heard about it. But for those who didn't, let's talk and speculate, shall we? The next Goosebumps Slappy World book is called The Ghost of Slappy. And because what the Megaton hell, <laughs> I'm not going to show it. Freak that. <laughs> okay. That is one of the ones that most likely will have me up at night. You know, I'm just kidding. It most likely won't. But I'm just saying that actually will scar my memory now. I can see it right now and it sucks. <laughs> That just means one thing. They did an awesome job when it comes to capturing the horror that's supposed to be in these Goosebumps books. So he did a remarkable job. Now, as I actually commented on Goosebumps number one Aussie fans video, the question is, should he actually be light blue? I mean, given he actually gave an explanation, kind of secretly gave the explanation where it's like, oh, it was a nod to the movie. And I'm like, hmm, that will work, but I kind of prefer continuity, be continuity before winking at the movie. You know what I'm saying? So there's one book in particular that actually says, hey, it happened once. And it's none other than The Bride of a Living Dummy. Bride of a Living Dummy, Slappy got killed because I, I don't know, I kind of fudged the book. And uh, oh, yeah, I remember now. In the book, what happened is that the girl pushed both of them into the um, chipper and they, well, technically it's a saw and they go, Ew, and they both went down and Slappy's freaking spirit shows up. And it, I think it was green. I technically think the book was green or I didn't mention it, but in the TV show, it was freaking damn green. So not to mention in the third, in the third episode, well, technically second episode, but whatever. Notice that when he breathed on Zane again, it was green. And I'm just saying, shouldn't he be technically green? But the real messed up part is that, well, actually, he can't even fight that because he'll be like, oh, but there's many other ghosts that they had in the TV, in this series in the cover that's green. And I'm like, yeah, but don't forget about Ghost Beach. Ghost Beach, ghost was blue. So it's like, yeah, we can't really tackle the fact of being like, oh, but it messes up what happened with other ghosts. And you just wanted to make a different, different comparison between the two. It's like, not really. Because Ghost Beast is blue. Barking Ghost, even though he has those messed up red eyes, he technically is blue. I'm just saying. So I really wish they actually made him gr freaking green, you know, just made him green just to match what he did in the book and also everything else. All right. Now, as for what's going on here, sadly, I don't know. Here's the hopes. My hope is this, is that by some miracle, just like what happened with um, Slappy's, I'm, e I'm Slappy's evil twin, how they actually gave a nice little wink out of nowhere that, oh, yes, Mr. Wood is Wally and this is how he became real. This is how he actually got his origin. It's like, didn't see that coming, but awesome. Same idea. Maybe this book actually will show what happened in between. I don't know. It's, it's confusing here. It really is confusing because it's like, okay, well, Bride of Living Dummy came and then Slappy's Nightmare came afterwards. Bride of Living Dummy, Jimmy O. James ditched Slappy and said, screw you, I'm out. Peace. In Slappy's Nightmare, Jimmy O. James still has him and he's about to get a replacement dummy. So the chances are it should have been switched. And I really hope someday you have Arl Stein saying, yeah, they go in different orders. <laughs> it's like, yes, thank you. So the nightmare happened first. And then when it came to Brad, a living dummy, he had his final act, but he's still, he does have the living, another dummy around slappy. He's not really talking about it. And he's most likely, this is the reason why he got snappy and messed up and pimp slapped him and crap because he's like, I know eventually you're going to ditch my ass. So I'm going to freaking treat you like, Shh. <laughs> and that's what he does. And Slappy got ditched and then he got killed. 
then that means that the next one in that order has to be um, Revenge of the Living Dummy, technically. It's like, technically, that's how it goes. But either way, I would kind of just want to know what happened in that exact area, where it's like from Bride of the Living Dummy all the way to what's the next book after that. How did he get to another body? That's the real question that I hope they might answer. If not, at least maybe hint at what happens when Slappy is destroyed. At least do that. So what do you guys think? What will the ghost of Slappy actually entails? <laughs> and will it actually just show the fact of, oh yeah, he did that crap in Bride of Living Dummy. Remember, he went into that girl's body and now he has put the girl in possession. It's like, holy frick. So is that what's going to happen? Is part two where he just turns into a ghost and then, well, either A, he's going to freaking do crap and scare people or B, he's going to get into people. That's interesting. That would be a nice concept. He freaking tortures people by knocking stuff over and making messed up comments. And they're like, who said that? And then you have the times where he just goes into people and the people act crappy and rotten, man. That'd be kind of cool. The dad act crappy as hell. And then the wife is like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And then he goes into the wife and the wife insults the dad. And dad's like, what the freak happened? And she's like, Oh, you're a piece of shit. (laughs) That I have to admit that would be a messed up funny time there, <laughs> just torturing a family where it's like, man, there's something going on here. One second I'm in control of myself, and the next thing I say something that I didn't mean to say. It's like that would be pretty cool. And mix in the powers he got in Son of Slappy, the fact that he's able to puppeteer people. Oh frick, Slappy has became super damn powerful. Oh my gosh, and of course, the sadly, the missing video you guys never get to see because still waiting for the new laptop so I can finally dig in and be like, okay, these are the two Goosebumps videos I should have had out that were very awesome about Slappy, and it's amazing. But for right now, i just going to have to say they are kind of moving. Well, R.L. Stein is kind of moving to the point of where I'm like, I figured, I figured that's how it does. He does it. Figured that's how it is.